And we talk all the time about being able to play 40 minutes. And I thought the first half was a tremendous basketball game. Uh, up and down, both teams scoring, uh, rebounding. We were making some free throws. And then in the second half, uh, San Diego State stepped it up to a different level, specifically with Hopkins. Uh, we could not get her slowed down in transition. And that became an issue for us. And we missed a few free throws. And you could just see the drain of the season starting to wear on this group. But I'm so proud that they ended up uh, turning things around in January from what we were doing in November and December and played tonight. Uh, just a tremendous effort by a young team that I'm very proud of. Okay, thank you, Coach. I'll take questions for the team athlete. Eric from all the cast for Sean Drew, 50 points in the game from them tonight. Just how tough are they of the team to defend down there on the block? They're a really tough group. They have really quick close players, strong girls, just a, a diverse group, same size players. So kind of got to be ready for anything. Robert Gagley, already the one in Tribune Needles. Chandra or even Ashley, you know, they guys were in a lot of foul trouble tonight and they did go inside a lot. Just how hard was it to defend them, uh, you know, because they're good players, but also because of the foul trouble you were in? Yeah, that, that makes it tough. You have to watch your fouls and be very careful in that situation. And the fact that because they are inside, it made it that much more difficult to defend them. Eric, well, Casper, start for you nationally. Uh, Coach Gunn talked about it a little bit after that first five minutes of the second half. You get to right there, but they made that little run there. How much did that one kind of hurt you guys? Um, you know, we talked, you know, teams are going to make runs, and you have to go out and make a run yourself. And you know, we played hard, we were to get the run that we needed to go ahead and keep winning. But, you know, I think our team went out and did extremely well. We've done, you know, a lot better than we were in the beginning of the season. So I think our team did awesome. You know, we're all coming back next year. And and knowing what it's like and seeing the type of play that goes on here, what, is, what do you think that's going to do for you guys moving ahead and looking toward next season? Um, I think, you know, it just gets us motivated. You know, we have to really work hard in the postseason, you know, on the court, off the court, and just come out next year with a buyer and, you know, come out knowing that we're going to take it to every team that we play and do as many things as we can. Start being that. Kayla, can you just kind of reflect on this season a little bit, particularly the last two and a half months where this team has just kind of come? Um, like Ashley said, uh, a lot of people weren't expecting us to be very good this year. They thought it was just going to be, you know, kind of just, you know, working on, like, since we're younger. And, uh, I don't know, I think we set the bar high for the years to come, and I think we're going to go out next year and put a lot of people on again. I mean, you think getting a tournament victory here and obviously playing has been pretty tough for you know, 25 minutes tonight. Do you think that will carry over into the offseason as you guys look forward to next year? Oh, yeah, I think you know, what we've done here in the tournament and what we've done this Now we'll take questions for Coach Kaborski. Eric Schmoltz, Councilor Sharkey, and Joe, kind of the same thing for you there. Uh, Sean said a diverse group of post players. Uh, what, what makes them so effective down there in the block? Well, I thought, uh, I, I, I look at it a little bit differently. Uh, I think the point guard is able to get to the basket. And when Hopkins is able to get to the basket, you end up rotating and trying to take her away. She is such a tremendous passer, has great court vision. So all of a sudden, she's able to find players that are within two or three feet of the basket. Uh, you know, it makes it very difficult uh, because you have to give help, but then when you provide help, she could also find the open person. And so that became a bigger issue. So uh, I, I see the points in the paint 
but so much of that I look at is because a point guard is creating all that rather than uh, just say we couldn't handle somebody at the block. Robert Gagliardi, the one on the Tribune Eagle. You mentioned Hopkins. Joe, did she just step into another gear? Or I know you, a lot of your guards were in foul trouble. I'm sure that couldn't have helped. But what did she do different where she really, like you said, was able to kind of take over there? Robert, I'm an older man. I remember driving that standard. Most of us go from first to second, maybe to third <laughs> before we get up in speed. Hopkins goes from second to fifth. Uh, she can move in a hurry. She can make a lot of things happen. And... Uh, that is really uh, where it was at, and we did not have an answer. And then you have Clements running the other side, who can score a number of ways, putting it on the floor, shooting the ball from three. Her mid-range game is very good. And so now that puts so much pressure on everybody individually, defensively, and that's not what we do best. Uh, we have to be able to rotate, we have to be able to help. Uh, San Diego State was just very good today. I give Coach Burns credit. I mean, she has them playing at a very high level, and they really came out in the second half. And like I said, they jumped a couple of years. Eric Schmaltz talked to me. How much did you think those free throws hurt? He was four in a row. You guys could have maybe six points there, and all of a sudden it stays at double digits. Eric, when you take a look at it, we shoot 36% in the first half, and they shoot 58. Uh, the free throw line was a big benefit. We were 8 of 10. And that became a big part of it. And all of a sudden, you start missing a front end of a one-on-one, you're missing two shots, and we go to 50%. Uh, not the difference in the basketball game, but maybe the difference in keeping the game, maybe breaking a run and giving you some hope. Uh, free throws you missed are very difficult. You can see it in the expression of the players. Uh, they know they're missed opportunities. I know it's tough to do maybe right after a game, but just reflect on what this group accomplished, particularly after the years. I told them in the locker room that I can be more proud of the group. Uh, I remember our last non conference game. Uh, we ended up going out to Eastern Michigan, a very talented team, and uh, we got beat really good. And they had to make a decision of what they wanted to do as a group. And I kept working with them, pushing them, and uh, they responded. And for this team to be able to come out here and win a game in the Mountain West Tournament, uh, I couldn't be more proud of it to be able to get to this point. It's very difficult. And they're going to find that out next year. This just doesn't happen. You have to put so much work in to even find a way to get a victory out here. Uh, this league was very good and very evenly matched. And so uh, when I reflect back, and I'll do that over the next couple of weeks, I'll be very proud of the effort that I was able to get. We were so undersized most of the year. Brennan Freeze really steps up and has to play on the inside at about 5 foot 10. And uh, starting three freshmen, uh, I'm pleased with where they're at, but we have a great deal of work to do. Okay, thank you very much.